Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching um, the equal, the review recap of The Equalizer Season 2, Episode 18 um, called Exposed. Now this is the season finale of The Equalizer and I thoroughly enjoyed this episode of The Equalizer. Um... All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so we see that Robin has broken into some place, but we don't know what it is at this point. And we see that she's um, getting, she's gained some information, and now she's having to fight these men so that she can get away. But she does end up getting away with the information. Um, so then we see that um, she... D is worried because Robin never came home. She never came home that night. So D is very uh, worried about her. And everything, and um, and Aunt Vi talks to uh, D, and she says because Robin says, "Oh, I, I was out all night. I, I, I wanted so Aunt Vi is gonna have to take you to school and everything." So when D is riding to school with Aunt Vi, she says, "Aren't you worried about Mom? Like she's hiding stuff again." I thought by now she would know that she could trust me. She could trust us. And aren't you worried? Like, what is so important that she's hiding from them? Because remember last episode, Dee was very worried about her mom because um, she felt that her, you, you know, that the danger she was putting herself in, especially now about what happened with Bishop. Um, but anyway, so then we see when um, Robin goes to, you know, the, the layer, I call it the layer, with, uh, Ro with um, Mel and Harry that she actually broke into the Cuban embassy. And the reason she broke into the Cuban embassy was because she wanted to find a, a man named Delgado. So with Delgado, he actually works with Mason Quinn. And so her thinking is they're about to plan something huge um because she's seen photos of delgado and quinn and so she's like they're about to plan something huge so what i need to do is find where delgado is going to be and you know his connects in america because if i could find them i could narrow it down to where he's going to be and i could try to get him to get information and of course mel and harry tell her hey Mason Quinn said, if you go after him, he's coming for you. So do you think this is the best thing to do? But y'all know Robin, when she makes up her mind, she's going to do something. There's no talking to her. That's exactly what she's going to do. And she has made up her mind that this is exactly what she's going to do. And so um, they, so even though they tell her, hey, you're losing focus. Like you, you look like you haven't slept. You, they try to tell her like, you don't want to risk your family and everything for this. And she's like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Um, I need to, to focus. I need to, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to get into this because it's too dangerous and everything. And they're like, good. But when she leaves, they're like, do you believe this? No. <laughs> like, no. We both know that she's about to go in. She's still going to be on this case or whatever. So then we see that she actually met up with Griffin. Now, remember Griffin was her, um, remember she had a student and Griffin was uh, her her handler. So now Griffin is the new bishop, pretty much. That, that's who he is now. So she goes to him with the information that she has. And she says, these are the locations and everything where he is, where uh, you can find Delgado. And they have been wanting to find Delgado. So they're actually happy that she gave this. He's actually happy that she gave this information. The only thing she tells him is that I, my name cannot be associated with this. You know, keep me out of it, ma'am. Will you let me do a video without you trying to get in? Um, keep me out of it and everything. And, and you know, so he agrees to that. Okay, y'all. So then, um, okay, so. Vera is running for, um, uh, uh, I think, president or, you know, the student body. She's running for an office, whatever. And we know Vera has political, she aspires for, um, to be a politician. She has political, political, um, aspirations. So because of this, um, she's, you know, she's made signs and everything for the student, you know, to, you know how you got to make your signs and your flyers and everything. And her ex-boyfriend Logan comes through and he kicks one, right? So she says, um, you know, D is like, oh, wow, Logan. So apparently Vera broke up with Logan and he is not taking a break up. Well, we will find out in a minute how bad he's taking it. Because as Vera's giving her speech and everything, everyone's phone starts going off and they're staring at her. Well, apparently when she and Logan were dating and she would not, she would, she didn't want to be intimate with him. She didn't want him. 
she didn't want to be intimate with him. So instead, she thought, okay, I don't want him to be mad at me. So it was, uh, you know how girls feel peer pressure from their boyfriends. So she didn't want him to be mad at her. So he, she sent him a nude photo of her. You know, so, okay, I'm not sleeping with you, but here's a nude photo um, or whatever, you know, to try to placate him or whatever. And so he, when they were dating, he accepted the photo and everything and he was supposed to delete it. Well, this jerk <laughs> did not delete the photo. And not only that, he sent it out to everyone in the school. And not only that, he sent it out to, uh, so he sends it out to everyone in the school, right? And so while she's giving her speech, she finds all this. And so, of course, Vera is humili humiliated about this and everything. And, um, of course, Logan thinks it's funny, it's cool or whatever. And y'all know how people do. The girl is always labeled the slut. So that's what they start labeling her. And they, you know, kids are cruel especially high school kids like because you know as an, uh, an adult you just like oh my gosh i can't believe he did that to her or whatever you could see it from that aspect but let me stop because there's a bunch of pick me women out here that be like oh look what she did or whatever so let me stop because you know how even as adults people still um shame the woman all off topic but anyways um so vera is devastated by this and so um d tells her don't worry we're gonna get him back to this and she said we could just uh go to the um principal and and everything and so that's what they do they go to the principal and of course the principal said there's nothing we can do you have to prove that he did it and we have to we would have to notify your parents and everything well vera is terrified of this so she's like i can't let my parents know what i've done like so there's nothing she can do so um you know she leaves and she's like d stop acting like you can fix this because d was like we there's we got to be able to do something and she was like d stop acting like you can fix this when there's nothing you can do to fix this <laughs> you know and so then we see that um d goes up to logan and she was like oh you feel real good about that or whatever and he was like um i didn't send that picture out she said we she, you're the only person that gave that picture and he was like you don't know she could have been with somebody else oh made me throw up but you could she could have been with somebody else and she was like you know she was only with she only sent that picture out to you or whatever and he was like yeah where it is it came from a burner phone and all that like he's gloating in the fact that they can't prove that it was him and it's ruined her reputation because again she wants she has aspirations in politics and you know she's young she wants to go to college and stuff and she doesn't want people to google her or search her and find that information so then we see that um so while this is going on um robin goes uh, okay so harry and mel put a tracker on robin's vehicle and they say say she at home and mel said I, I feel like there's something else going on so we find that um robin is um on a mission because griffin said we found it the lago um do you, you want to come i figured i'd offer you you know front row seats to see him get arrested and she was like yeah i want to come or whatever so he um so they they find him they do arrest him and everything and and so she was able to see all this so then okay okay mama um so they arrest the De, lago just Delago, Delgado. I'm thinking about this place that I used to go in for family vacation. It was called Delago. Anyways, so they arrest Delga Delgado. Um, so then we see D um actually meets with Dante, and she, you know, and he says, unfortunately, the school is right. There's nothing we can do. And he and D was like, he was like, unfortunately, it's the victim that has to prove that the person did this, and it, you know, it's horrible that it's like that, but that's how it is. But he told her, here, let me give you a number. They, they, she calls herself the equalizer. And Dee is like, because Robin had tried to call her earlier, you know, because um, Aunt Vi did talk to Robin about, hey, you need to really make Dee feel secure because she feels like you're not trusting her again. But Dee didn't answer because she was, she had, stuff. she was like, I'm dealing with some stuff right now. I don't have time to talk to you, mama. Or whatever. So when Dante gives her this number, and she, you know, she knows it's her mama or whatever. She says, "Um, okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna think about it, or whatever." Um. So then, oh, cause um, okay. So then we see that they fight. Um, 
Vera calls D and she tells D, oh my God, he not only sent it to everyone in school, but he sent my photo to porn sites. And they're doing, they've taken my face and put it on other people's bodies and they're doing disgusting things. So it feels like I'm being sexually assaulted over and over again. And like Vera is in the middle of a breakdown. Can you imagine being, um, how old are they? Like 16 and having to deal with this. So she is in the middle of a breakdown because of this. So this makes DB like, okay, I, I got you. So she's like, she goes and she tells Aunt Bai and she tells Robin what's going on. And so Robin's like, okay, I'm going to handle it or whatever. You know, we're going to try to see what we can do. And D says, what? Like, mom, I've I've done everything to tell, prove to you that you could trust me. I want in. And, and, and Robin was like, this is too, like, that would be bringing you to meet the team. And that's too much information. She says, you could trust me. I've proven that. And I want to help Vera. That's my friend. And I'm going to help her. So Robin finally introduces Dee to Mel and Harry. And so... Um, so she meets Mel and Harry and everything, and it, it's, they're real sweet, you know, because Mel is just like, oh my gosh, because, you know, they've been hearing about her since she was born, they've known about her or whatever, and so it's, you know, they finally get to meet her, because everything was always so hush-hush because of what Robin's work. Um, so they, Harry says, okay, I'm going to try to get this off the internet, but he talk, but he tells them, I can remove this stuff, um, but what she's the pain, but Mel says like the pain and the suffering. That's that's not you you know moving removing it off the internet. That's not the it's going to be deeper than that. And they agree to this and everything. So then we see that um, Harry is working to try to remove everything, and um, Robin gives him back a tracker, and she says, um, "He says we did it because we love." And she said, "How about a little less, a little less love and more trust?" And it's like, but Robin, they're doing this because you won't talk because they say you're going too far, you're digging too deep, and you won't talk to them, and that's your team, and you won't talk to them. They're just concerned about you or whatever. Um, so, okay. So now we see that Robin goes because, okay, so she's talking to Harry, right? And Griffin t calls her and he says, Delgado is not giving it up. And she says, don't worry. I'm going to come down there and I'm going to meet with him or whatever. I'm going to meet with him. And she said, just hold him there. Cause he was like, they're going to move him in like eight hours. Um, because he's not giving it up and they're going to, they're going to take him and be tortured and everything. Mm -hmm. To try to get information out of him. So she says, I'm going to be there. So, you know, of course, Harry now, she can't tell Harry now what she's doing, but she goes, right? So she goes, and, and Delgado, he's not talking. He's not talking. So she says, you got to gain his trust. So she goes in there with some cigarettes and water, and he's like, I, rule number one, I know you're trying to gain my trust or whatever. And she said, all right, well, tell me where Quinn is. And and she said, you're going to be leaving here in eight hours to be tortured. And he said, um, no, I'm not. Like, my people are coming to get me. And she said, your people don't know where you are, sir. And he says, um, yeah, I'm not afraid of you. And I'm not afraid to, of torture or any, anything like that. And so she pulls out her gun and she's like, tell me where Mason Quinn is or I'll put this bullet in, bullet in your head. Oh, I hope you two don't flag me. <laughs> uh, anyways, and he says, um, he's just like. So at that time, it's a big explosion. He said, I told you they would be here. And so Griffin comes in. He says, let's go. We've been breached. So he and Robin start running out of whatever. And it was a commotion and stuff going on. And then Robin got hit with a bullet. And she go down. And Griffin is yelling, McCall. And then they get Delgado. Somebody comes up to Delgado and like, come on. And so he goes or whatever. And so then we see Delgado in the back of a van and he gets a phone call and he starts talking to Mason Quinn. But then he starts giving it up, like the meeting, what they're doing, what they got planned and all that kind of stuff. And then Robin um, is Robin is there and they we see that she's she didn't get shot or anything, um, which they had us concerned because they was like she didn't come home again. So I was like, well, y'all don't know she got shot. But um, so but then we see that she didn't go home because she's um, they're doing this sting operation on Delgado and he don't even know it. He in the back of the fan singing like a canary, and she said, "You gained his trust." He thought, "I'm you know I was down," and he really was rescued or whatever. And 
so he's giving it up and she's talking over the thing and they're making her voice sound like Mason Quinn. And then Delgado, he realizes that, oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> that's on the right people. So he gets, uh, he pulls the gun from the serviceman beside him, but it's too late. They open up the van and he didn't go nowhere. They just been rocking the van and stuff, making him think they were moving or whatever. Um, so they find out that uh, Delgado, um, Mason, Mason is trying to drop a bomb, a dirty bomb on New York because he wants chaos in America so that, you know, the free world will go down and then all the different leaders, um, will bow to him for making it happen or whatever, because it would take us so long to recover. And, um, she said, it's been right in front of your face, Delgado. I mean, uh, Griffin. And he says he had to let the CIA know about her. And she was like, what? I told you. And he was like, I had to let them know. And they want you to run. They want to go after Mason Quinn and they want you to run the lead the task force. Um, so they waiting on her answer. So then we see, um, okay. So all the girls in the school or whatever are making little comments about Vera, um, saying little mean things and putting post posters up, calling her, um, a slut and, and all this kind of stuff. So they goes off on him, on them. She was like, this could be you. This could be us. Like this could still be any one of us. You could be in a relationship with a guy. She ain't say all this, but I'm at pro lib. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. You could be in a race relationship with a guy thinking everything is cool. Thinking you trust him. He loves you. Everything is great. And he gets mad at you because his feelings are hurt and he betrays you and so she said that could be us and so they feel bad or whatever and then she gets a text message from vera and vera is like d i want you to know i love you and you know don't forget about me but it, it was like a, it was a really deep text message that made her feel like d was going to harm herself i mean vera was going to harm herself so she's trying to call her mama she's trying to call robin trying to call Robin, and can't get in contact with her so then she um contacts um she contacts uh, Mel. So Mel and Harry. Okay. So they're trying to get the Harry is trying to get the pictures down or whatever, right? He said it's on his Russian site, and the guy is some kind of Russian um C, like I guess their version of CIA or whatever. And so he's blocking Harry. Like every time Harry do a move, he blocks him, and then he comes up on the screen and says, "You American IP, you know." stop trying to attack me or whatever and harry was like get those pictures down or whatever and so that's when d calls and so they run out to see what's up with d and she says i can't reach vera no one's seen her at school she's not at home she's not at school and she just sent me this message it sounds like she want to hurt herself and d's all upset and she was like and i've been trying to reach my mom like a thousand times and she's not answering so Harry and Mel are like, we got you. And so they go running and, 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 and Harry is able to track Vera's phone. And he was like, I, she's on this building. She's in this location. And D is like, oh, I know where she is. She's on the building where we had a, like a dance. And that's the first time she and um, Logan first kiss. And she said she's on that roof. Uh, she's probably there on that roof because they had, a, I guess they had a school dance there or whatever. So they go to the roof or whatever. And, um, Robin, who called Robin? They find, oh, D calls Robin. Robin finally looks at her phone and she sees all these messages and she calls D and D tells her what's going on. And she was like, I was trying to reach you and everything. She was like, I've been out of range. My phone was out. And she was like, this is what's going on. Vera. So D, Robin's like, I'm going to be right there. I, you know, I'll be there. So they go to this rooftop and Vera is on the rooftop and D and um, Mel say Vera stop. Cause Harry is trying to well, stay there back. Cause he was trying to locate her. But D, I mean, Mel went with D. So they're like, Vera stop. Don't do this or whatever. And she's like, my life is over. Like my life is over. Like, Everything I do, I'll always wonder, do they know? Have they seen what, it, you know, and uh, you know, it's really sad. And so D was, D just started talking to her because Mel was going to go and she said, no, she trusts me. And she started talking about her, talking to her about how, when they lost their friend, how they felt after that, you know, and 
her little brother Henry and, and her parents and just how devastated people would be if Vera was no longer there. And she said, plus, you are a fighter. Like, you, you have to stand up for yourself. You can't let someone get away with this and whatever. And so um, she she does talk Vera off the ledge and everything. And Vera was like, I'm, you know, D was like, I need you here with me or whatever. And it was a really sweet moment. And then we see Mel and Robin has made it uh, arrived. Robin has arrived and we see Mel and Robin and Rob Mel is like, you're going to tell me where you were. And, and Robin was like, yeah, but later. So um, then we see D on Vi, uh, D on Vi Robin and in another room is Vera and her parents. And she's telling her parents everything that has happened to her and everything. And, you know, just how devastated she was like, God dang. Um, so she's telling her parents everything that's um, happened to her and how devastated she was. And they just grab her up and hold her and everything because she was worried about telling them because she was like, they're going to, you know, be so disappointed. They're very religious and everything. But at the end of the day, I, don't, I, I wouldn't care how religious, religious I am. If my baby came to me and was like, this person violated me this way. <laughs> like I'm not blaming her for that I'm, but I am going to be like trying to get at that person or whatever mm -hmm. but um, anyways so then we see oh so then we see um D, so Robin gets a phone call while, they, while they're all sitting there, you know, while D, Vera is telling her parents. And she says, I got to take this. And D was like, go, I get it now. She was like, after, you know, after helping Vera the way she did and stuff and everything, she was like, I get why you do what you do now. Because you want to, you want to help people and you, you want someone who's going through an injustice. If you could equal the playing field, you want to help. So she's like, go, go or whatever. So then we see um, <laughs> Harry take, he's like, I got it. Because, um, okay, so D, uh, Robin lets Mel and Harry know that the CIA want her to work with them, right? And that she she told the CIA, you know, only if I could have my team. And so they're going after Mason Quinn. So but, well, before they do this, Harry is like, I got it. I found the guy or whatever. I found a way to go in. And Mel's like, what way can you go in? He says, he opens himself up for a weakness. Like, I found a weakness. And so, you know, Harry, I guess, kept bothering the man, bothering the man. And then the man came back and he was like, Are you American. I told you to leave my um, IP, like, leave me alone or I was going to put destruction on you. So while he's doing this, Mel was like, well, what's the weakness? And, and he says, when he goes after me, he opens himself up. So Harry puts in the malware and everything on the um, the Russian man's computer. And so it starts destroying everything. And he also let the um, the police and everything know what the man was doing. So there will be at his door um, or whatever. So they were excited about that. But then they are like, okay, we have to... Um, Robin lets them know about they have to work with Mason, um, work on getting Mason Quinn, and they're going to be working with the, you know, the CIA and everything. So then we see um, D goes to school and she supports Vera, and Vera's like, oh my gosh, because so they're walking into school, and she was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so embarrassing. The people they know, and what if they don't, you know, what if, what if me running for this still or trying to do this still? They're going to talk about me. And she's having second thoughts. But Vera was like, I got you, girl. So when they go into school, the girls that D had told off earlier, they were all there with signs and everything. And all the, you know, all the young ladies rallied around because they, I guess they realized, they're school girls, <laughs> you know, some jerk or whatever. And so they rallied around. And then um, Logan sees this and he's all upset and everything. And he's about to leave with his friends. But Dante comes through and he says, you're under arrest. For, and we've already let your parents know um, for um, releasing pornographic content of an unknowing and unwilling participant or whatever. So he's under arrest for that. And um, Dante goes up to Dean. and he was like, I'm glad you called that number. She was like, yeah. I'm like, what are you going to tell Dante? <laughs> Just make him look what are you going to tell Dante or whatever? Oh, I guess he's going to find out. We're going to talk about that later. So then, um, they're all, you know, they're just, just all happy and everything. Because it, it's like, 
she, they're still going to have to go through emotional support and everything, but it's like, oh, okay, we got to win. So Robin V, Robin uh, D and Aunt Vi are riding, right? So it's Robin in the driving, Aunt Vi on the passenger, and D in the back. So they're driving, and Robin just tells D, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy with you. Um, what you're doing and everything. And she said, now I have been distracted and there's something very important. I need to tell you about this case that I'm, I've been working on. It's, you know, it's, it's important that y'all know. Well, as she was telling her, D looked over and she said, mom, and a SUV slammed into Robin or whatever. And then when they were trying to get their bearings, they came and yanked Robin out the car and D and a are like screaming, but they go with Robin. I said, oh, Lord, you're going to lose custody of your girl. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. Because you know she's going to be all right. I was like, you're going to lose custody of the day. I told you not to mess with this or whatever. But, yeah, that was the equalizer and everything. But I'm like, yeah, D, Dante going to know now because D now going to have to consult with Dante about what happened. I know they're going to call Mel and Harry, but they're going to have to work with Dante to try to get Robin back and everything. So anyways, y'all, that was the equalizer. It was a really great episode to me tonight. And the season ended on a really great cliffhanger. I think I saw that they got renewed. I hope they did because, you know, I was loving the end game. But I knew they weren't going to get renewed. But anyways, that was the equalizer, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.